Well, Sharon, it's really a tragic situation. The lives of three young men will forever be changed as a result of some bad decisions. Police say this fatal shooting of a North Carolina A&T football player was all over a quarter pound of marijuana valued at just $200. Tuesday night, police arrived at the 400 block of Stedman Street and found NC A&T football player Jermaine Clark outside his home suffering from a gunshot wound. The 22-year-old was later pronounced dead at the hospital. He was a good football player. He came here with the hopes of getting a chance to go to the next level. So it's just sad to see that he wasn't able to fulfill that dream. Police were quick to interview witnesses and gather leads. And on Thursday morning, they arrested and charged 22-year-old Kendrick Robinson and 20-year-old Lamaya Sanders Jr. with first-degree murder and robbery. During the police investigation, they discovered just moments before Clark was shot and killed, he and the suspects got into an argument over $200 worth of marijuana. This was a transaction over about a quarter pound of marijuana. Police say they believe Clark was the dealer and knew the suspects. But this did appear to be a drug transaction that turned into a robbery. Police say the suspects already had criminal records in Greensboro, and they say Clark was not armed the night he was murdered. Any murder is tragedy. So whether it's $200 or $2 million, it doesn't matter. Regardless of the circumstances, a young life with a promising future was taken. It wasn't just a student, you know, that's like family. And now two young men are in custody facing the possibility of life in prison. So they won't have a chance to even live life as much as the amount of time they have to spend in jail. So it's, it's no winners in this situation. Police say they are confident they have all of the suspects in this case behind bars, and they say these two young men are looking at the maximum penalty of life in prison without parole. Live in Greensboro, Amanda McKenzie, Time Warner Cable News on ABC 45.